Hello once again, everybody, and welcome back to Fallout 4, where I left off. I retrieved a Corsa chip, and now it's time. Well, let's explore uh, the good neighbor. Ooh, pre-war money. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna steal anything. What? Oh no, I'm not. Um. Excuse me. Good neighbors, crazy. Babs murders worse. Sometimes you just got to escape a little to make it through the day. Uh huh. That's true. Um. Escape. Escape? What do you mean? We live in old memories, like Thanksgiving, 2071. Mom made a 12-pound turkey. And then we all listened to the Silver Shroud vs. Captain Cosmos. Even Pa was there. You ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. I know, I was uh, from this... Yeah. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83! Um. Wasn't yeah. he a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. Heh. <laughs> Glimmerous of hope. It seems like people are finally rebuilding and. Recovering from the nuclear war. Maybe in some parts, like Diamond City, but over here, we got a ways to go. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real, with his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life, so we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Um. Good on you for trying to make the world better. I've heard crazier plans to do it. I just have to do <laughs> something, you know? I built my own custom machine gun, even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? Um... Yeah, why not? I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Before the bombs fell, they were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. Alright, you're welcome. I will get it for you. Ah, nah. Alright, um... Let's get out of here. Alright. Ooh, what's this? You look just like Sammy too. The short as hell didn't have one. Institute thinks they can replace people with synth in this town? They've got another thing coming. One of my Oh, that's bad. Got a reason to be bothering me. I just had to shoot up a synth body snatcher over here. Um Synth? Alright, I'm going. You stay close to you and yours now. They start acting weird. If you get that gut punch that says they've been replaced, you don't know what to do. Okay then. Just uh, gonna take this, wait. There we go. <laughs> Free for the taking. Yes, indeed. <laughs> ah, nice. Alright. What? Hey there. What's going on? Take a hike. Oh, happy to see here. Get lost. 
Oh, easy. Okay, I'll come back later. Oh, what happens if you just pass it? Quick save. <whistles> oh, snap! <laughs> oh my god. I was just passing through. What happens if you kill them? Ho ho ho. Hey, come help me. Please. Hello. I need your help. Okay, then never mind. Oh. Oh no, Piper. Come on, stand up. Oh ho. Oh. Come then. No. Don't fall back. Oh, you're dead. Oh, shh. Careful. 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 Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, you're dead. And give me this. Be war money. Alright. I don't know what just happened here. Okay, now mind. It's all fine. It's all safe. I have saved the day. Let's see. Ooh, the gun shop. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Okay, um, what are you? Who? What are you? I'm a woman, baby. Can't you tell? <laughs> oh, of course you are. It's just... All those metal plates. You're a robot, right? A very womanly robot? Was that a pickup line? I've heard better. Now, are you buying anything? Um. So, what kind of weapons do you have? Anything that can kill a man, I sell. Except suicidal depression. That is unfortunately not packageable. Now, are we doing business? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Sure, let's take a look. A gun for every occasion. Oh, fantastic! I can't wait to browse. Let's see. You can have this one. I don't need that anymore. Um, automatic. All right. I'm satisfied with this one. And there you go. Um. Galax pistol. Okay. Uh, oh, you can have this one. And what else? There you go. Um. Yeah, there you go. You can have this. I keep that. Uh, laser musket. I keep that as well. Um. All right, I'm done with the weapons. What else? Uh, take da, take da, all of it. Yes, that's right. Uh, ladder left arm. Uh, there you go. What's next? By the way, um, young. Ammo, that's all fine, I, I think. Alright, accept. There you go. Thank you.
What's this? All right. Hello. Uh huh. Uh, screaming. Did you say something about people screaming at you? That's right. Some newcomers have never seen a ghoul before. You can't handle a friendly face, asset. So you need some supplies? Um. Ghoul? What's a ghoul? You let them at once, sweetheart. <laughs> Didn't have any shelter to go to in the bomb pit. Radiation was kind of the ultimate makeover. Done wonders for my skin. I look pretty good for being 220 years old. Now you buying anything? Um, 200. Uh, wait. You're 220 years old? Okay, okay. It's more like 270 years. But don't go blabbing that to everyone. Being a ghoul means you live a long time. You stop counting birthdays. Do you know what it's like being that old? Um, yes. Actually, I do. <laughs> well, now you're just making fun of me. If you were as old as I was, you would have been around since before the war. So let's hear it. Come on. Tell me what the world was like before the war, if you're so ancient. Um, beautiful and peaceful. And a beautiful house, white picket fence, and a lawn with the greenest grass you'd ever seen. It was peaceful. It was, wasn't it? Sorry. Last thing you want to see is an old lady tearing up. Well, you're nah, it's all fine. the well-preserved ghoul I've ever seen, or you're the second best bullshitter and good neighbor. Ah! Uh, wait, I'm not... It's, it's the, the truth. truth. All of it. You know, if you haven't already, you should check out the Hotel Rexford. There's another pre-war ghoul hanging around there. Ah, awesome. We should get back to business. What are you picking up? Uh, Barden. Sure. Cash or trade? Let's get started. Alright. What can I sell? Trade. Uh, uh. Yeah, I... Um, I don't know if I need to. You can have this as well. Uh, there you go. Uh, what else? What else? I think I'm done. Accept. There you go. Thank you. Uh, I need some, um, stamp packs. Eight. Oh, oh, wait. Ooh, beer. Um, no thanks. Ah, uh, what else? Some red eggs. Right away. Oh, that's expensive. Wait. Ah, uh, never mind. Never mind. Um, ten packs. Just. Ooh, this is all very expensive. I'm just gonna take just five. It's all that fine. There we go. And I'm done. I'm done. Alright, where is the, the hotel he was talking about? Um, Kill or be killed. <laughs> nice. Um, hotel, hotel. Hey, you. Oh. Ho. Another time. Maybe. Hey, you. Looking for work? Uh, what kind? What kind of work? It's good work. Can't Under the supervision of the best boss you'll ever have. If you don't mind a little manual labor. And don't ask too many questions. You're in. I'll give you 50 caps to start. Interested? 
Um, maybe another time. Oh, right. That was creepy. <laughs> Oh, there's the hotel. Hotel. Riri Blair Rexford. Alright. Are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again? Or are you actually going to go down and do some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stop using the puppets. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using it? My mistake. Okay, um... Where is the another person? Hi. Just clean up around here. Oh, fantastic. You're doing a fine job, I think. Let's see. Oh, no you don't. Oh, that was... That was disgusting. Alright. to the point. We have rooms, one room specifically. Payment due up front. Um wait. Can you tell me a bit about this hotel? Oh, why do they always have questions? The hotel Rexford used to be <laughs> a grand establishment. We even had guests that didn't throw up all over the floor. But now the only people who come by are looking for somewhere to nurse a hangover or shoot up Kim's. So still want a room? Uh, who's the owner? Who owns this place? Mr. Morowski. Oh, we should have seen him in his day. This place used to be flowing with high-end kids, beautiful clients, and oh, the parties. But now he just stews in the back office and disgraces his parents' memory. I swear, if they knew how far he's fallen, they'd die all over again. So why don't you rent a room before I get worked up? Um, wait, I have another question. Tell me more about this Morowski character. Oh, why bother? He's worthless. <laughs> the big names caught him with his pants down, and now he just has this ratty hotel. That's the way good neighbor operates. The strong make it to the top until someone stronger kicks them down. Now, are you buying this room or not? I have another story. <laughs> I have been working in this hotel Another for question. 40 years, <laughs> and this is not how I imagined spending my retirement. Now are you done being nosy or are you getting a room? Um, another question. No, I'm not interested. Not today. Then you came to the wrong place. Aww, and now what? This place ain't what it used to be, and it ain't used to be much. Okay then. He isn't here. Ooh, whoa, what? That's a bad elevator. All right. You should um, close the door, I think. Ooh, hi. No, it can't. It, 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 it's you from Sanctuary Hills, right? Oh, it's it's you. It's f from the beginning. Are you from Vault Tech? I am Vault Tech. Twenty years of loyal service, and now look at me. I wasn't on the list for you. Look at you. 200 years and you're still perfect oh thanks how's that possible um you don't know they didn't tell you tell me why what is it how did you get through these last 200 years untouched uh oh. the vault had these that froze us in place. 
I only thought out recently. What? Voltec never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. Um. You're a ghoul? What's a ghoul? Radiation surplus, Mark. That's what a ghoul is. You think I'd be able to live this long on my own? The rats did this to me! Are there any other ghouls out there from before? You mean crazy, Kent, and nothing bothers me, Daisy? Yeah, there's a couple of us, but no one from the neighborhood. No one from Vault Tech. They just left me there. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know, you're the only other person I met from before I, uh, I, oh God, I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement wants a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Uh, you, sh you should come to Sanctuary. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit, I promise. Really? You... You will? Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. All right. Full tech. I'll see you soon. All right. I'm done. I'll gonna pause it. But I'll be back in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!